2020 is off to a bang. Here we are with yet another brand new Disney Cars single case to unbox. Of course, it is case C this time. And in my opinion, this one might actually be better than case B with Noah Gochak that we just unboxed a few days ago. This has two new silver releases of Chick Hicks and Jackson Storm. And then the re-release of the longly anticipated Harvey Rodcap, one of the rarest next gen racers only behind Aaron Clocker. So I'm super excited to get into this box. As always, you know, I don't know every single content, but after I unbox, I will put the full list in the description below, but don't cheat. Live it with us, guys. Live up to the reaction. Live up to the mystery here. Don't look in the description. But yeah, I got this from my usual supplier, Get Me Collectibles. His info is also in the description below. So I don't have my key today. I decided to use the good old wooden tee. So as you can see there, you have the typical information. This digit here is what you have to worry about, the 946, and this doesn't really matter. It is just this last digit here that determines what's inside. Obviously, made in Thailand, contains 24 cars. All right, let's see if we can have a little more success with the T this time. Oh yeah, that T is a bad boy. He slices right through this tape. I love it. This is just at a bad angle here. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, let's get into this. I'm so excited. I can't believe within two weeks, we already have another new singles case. The unfortunate thing is though, is that neither of these case B or C have hit any retail locations yet across the entire world. They're only available through online retailers or actually I should say online resellers like Get Me Collectibles and other people on eBay, which I don't know their names, but I've seen them on eBay. So right now that's your best bet of getting them. But as I predicted in my last video, I predict case B with Noah Gochak will hit Australia within the next week. And of course, here are a couple cars from that case to refresh your memory. And then this case will probably hit at the end of January. And as for America, just probably two weeks after the Australian release. All right, let's dive right in here. Enough rumble jumble. All right, here are two new cars for me, or at least a new packaging variant, Cal Weathers. He was in case A for this year, but not in B. I did not buy A. So you can see he is in the Copper Canyon series. I love that cactus logo. We have gotten a Thailand variant of him though in that two pack with Brick Yardley. And they did put two of them. I think two is a decent amount. I mean, I'll take two Cal Weathers over two Jackson Storms any day of the week. Looks like a lot of carryover from Case B. Ooh, we got some bendies here. APB, so this one was also in the last case, but yeah, this one's really bent. I might have to open this one. It's not creased though, so I might just be able to strain it out. But yeah, there is APB for you. Nothing too special because she was already in the last case. Same thing here with Paul Conrev, but a welcome re-addition here. I mean, I would always take another Paul Conrev because he is a very desirable next gen. I'm sure he will sell. Easy peasy. I hope he doesn't turn to Ryan inside Laney though. Him and you know Michael Roder and Cam Spinner, those tend to stick around for a while on the pegs nowadays after being released so many times. Here's a boring release here. Lane McQueen with racing wheels from the World Grand Prix series. We already got this guy in the last case in many cases before. So who cares? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Here is Ryan inside Laney himself. He was in the last case and has been released before, but I think the time that he was released, like in the first case of Blue Desert, now he's got different cars on the back here, like Harvey and Paul. And of course, Conrad Camber will be coming in the next couple cases as well. And we've already gotten Dianco Cruz. I really do like his art though. I like seeing him on the packs. He's visually appealing. Oh, here we go. This is hype. Two Jambalaya, Jambalaya Chimichangas. So this is one of those demolition derby racers that was only previously available in the Walmart exclusive rubber tire series. So she did end up becoming a little rare. And so obviously this is her first release with plastic tires and her first Thailand release. 
So it's great to see her back. I absolutely love her as a character, you know, with the polka dots. It really reminds me of Taco Mint just because of how visually appealing the design looks. And I absolutely adore her artwork. I'm so glad that they're releasing some of these Demolition Derby razors like Liability and Jambalaya in the main line now after being released in that more special series. And two, that's awesome. They'll definitely sell two easy. Here we have another Trainer Cruise. So this, this is a car that keeps on continuing throughout the cases. She has been released in case A, B, and now C. And she is technically a new release, but you know, by the third time she gets released, she'll definitely become a peg warmer. Most people may not even realize she's a new release because the headset's on the other side there. But yeah, I'll take another one. But after that, I don't need any more. Oh my God. Oh wait, shoot. I thought this was regular Jackson Storm. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this guy is beautiful. So I will be doing reviews of these new silver racers in their own videos. So I won't show too much, but man, that's awesome. Silver Jackson Storm here. So they created a whole new series for these silver racers called the Silver Collection. And they have a nice logo there of McQueen in grayish silver. So that begs the question, will McQueen be released as a silver racer? I think it's a possibility. But the thing about him is though, I mean, he's already been released as a silver racer, World Grand Prix style and Cars 1 style. So perhaps it would be the Cars 3 version. But I would prefer new releases, you know, new characters, silverized, instead of McQueen, but this is awesome. He looks so good. They even painted the spoiler silver. It's phenomenal. Beautiful casting right here. Probably one of the best to start the year off with. Here we have Fighting Face Mater. So this guy was included in the last case as well. So nothing to get too hyped about, but it's always nice to see a Cars 2 variant or a Cars 2 release. And he is in the London Chase series. And it previews Fimic Missile and Holly Shift well with Electroshock device, which is just that little taser there. So hopefully those will be released soon because I do miss some of the Cars 3 releases, I must admit. Speaking of which, here is Nigel Gearsley with Flames. There was two of this guy in the last case. So nothing, again, to get too hyped about, but it is nice to see him again. I always like the World Grand Prix racers, especially with the Flames. So hopefully, you know, instead of, come on, instead of including a third now of Nigel with Flames, how about release Miguel with Flames or Shu with Flames or even Carlo Veloso with Flames would be a nice re-release. But yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. I can tell these are silver. Two silver chick hickses. I was not expecting two of these. Mattel is really doing a great job, including multiples of the new castings recently. Of course, in the last case, they included two of Noah Gochak, and now we have two silver chick hickses here. So that is really awesome to see. I do wish that they made the art silver though, like they did in that silver truck series that was exclusive to Walmart in 2015, but they didn't. No big deal though. I honestly, though, have been waiting for a silver Chick Hicks for, you know, honestly, 14 years now. So I'm so pumped to finally get him. He looks phenomenal. And the sponsors, you know, all of his contingency sponsors, they really pop on the silver paint. So he looks phenomenal. And of course, he is also in the silver collection. Hopefully they release some more of these soon. But right now, it looks like Jackson and Chick are the only ones on the horizon. That's great. I'm really happy about that. Here is just a typical Dynaco Cruise in the next gen Piston Cop Racers series. Don't really care about her. Sorry, Cruise. Don't really care about this guy either, Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. I do love how shiny he is though, but yeah, he's been released multiple times by now in the Rusty's Racing Center series. Okay, here we go. Sorry about moving the camera there. This is some exciting stuff. After, what has it been, four years now, the tuners have returned. It's official, guys. The tuners are back. And here is our first Thailand release of one, Snot Rod, a.k.a. Plain Pot. What language even is that? I love it, though. Plain Pot. I actually like that. I might have to start calling him Plain Pot. Anyways, look at that nice new expression that Thailand gave him. He looks so much more fierce now. I like that a lot, actually. That looks phenomenal. Probably one of the better Thailand releases, in my opinion. 
He's got his classic artwork there that they've been using since 2006, but no reason to change it. And they created a nice new series for him. I love that the stripe is purple, of course, emphasizing their leader, Bloost, or Boost. I always think of the YouTuber Bloost, but it's actually Boost there. Tuners of Finadores. The mischievous gang has no concerns for speed limit or regard for other cars on the road. And there you can see Wingo will also be coming out. And I'm sure they'll also release DJ and Boost. But right now they're just starting with these two. That's so exciting. I'm really hyped about this series because hopefully we'll maybe get some other new releases. Some other highway cars or something like that. Because the Tuner series was always pretty cool when it was around and the early stages of the series days like 2013 it was with us for like 2013 2014 2015 2016 so it's great to see the series back really excited about it guys you have no idea here we go here's another new release for the case kurt with bug teeth so you can see we just got kurt released a few cases ago and now it's been about one and a half months and I do not have that one stand by here, but I will review this guy likely in the review of Kurt. So I'll just kind of double up on them. But yeah, you can see this is from the scene when Cruz was training them and trying to motivate them. And she had to use the bug teeth to get Kurt going, which is a little strange. Kurt with bug teeth. I never thought we'd get a second bug teeth release ever. I mean, bug teeth McQueen and now bug teeth Kurt. Honestly. I have no idea what's going on here. But this introduces a new series to us called Funny Flashbacks. Recuerdos Divertidos. So yeah, there is a picture of Cupcake McQueen. So hopefully that means we will be getting a Cupcake McQueen release. And hopefully we'll also get that Cal Weathers with the inflated tires. That would be awesome. But Mattel is being so secretive lately. They're only putting Kurt here on the back. Anyway though, relive some of your favorite silly moments from the car's the world of cars with these wacky racers. Hmm. Strange that they specify them all as racers, so there won't be any like Mater flashbacks. I don't know. It's weird that they call them racers. I mean, yeah, Kurt, McQueen, Cal, those are all racers, I guess, but hmm, interesting. So yeah, it's nice to see another Kurt release, I guess. I mean, such a weird character to already receive a variant, but whatever Mattel's weird, I accept that. All right, here we go. This is another nice re-release here of Old School Ramon, also known as Cruisin' Ramon. So this is one of my all-time favorite releases of Ramon. I'm so glad that he's back because I honestly can't remember the last time he was released. I do know that he was released like 2007, 8, and 9 consecutively, or at least 8 and 9. But then after that, he took a long break and maybe it was only released one time in like a multi-pack. But I'm so happy to see him back. And you can see that Tylen gave him a slightly new expression. He looks really good. The art looks phenomenal. On the back here, you can see Greta, Sheriff, Doc, and Fillmore, who we already know about. So that's another nice re-release here. I'm happy about that. Who we got here? Okay, all right. Another release of Noah Gocek. Fans will appreciate this. People who couldn't find him from Case B, then we'll have a second chance for Case C here. A great release, in my opinion. Again, from the Next Gen Piston Cut Racers. It's weird that none of the other you know car backs like Paul or Ryan or Cruz show Noah on the back. Maybe Harvey will. We'll see. We'll see. But it's nice that he's back. I like that. Oh, here we go. Here's a new re-release, I guess you could say, from the Copper Canyon series. The first time ever, Rusty's Racing, or Rusty's Lightning McQueen. I get so confused with all these names. But yeah, this is, I don't know, is it his first Thailand release? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. It's his first single release in quite some time, since 2017. On the back there, you can now see Jackson and Cal again. Copper Canyon Speedway. So yeah, I like his artwork a lot. It's visually appealing, even though it's just another boring McQueen in reality. All right, they included another liability here for some reason. So they're really pumping the Demolition Derby racers in this case. But yeah, she's great. Another one that was only released with rubber tires before. So maybe they'll release Superfly and Airborne. I think those were the other two that were only released in that Walmart line. 
And Bill, of course. Of course, can't forget Bill. He's the best one. So yeah, that's cool. I like liability. And here we go with a phenomenal finale to the case. Two Harvey Rod Caps. That is awesome. I'm really happy that they included two yet again. Mattel knows that this will be a popular release, and they know that if they include two, more cars will be sold off the shelves, and in turn, stores will order more cases because the shelves will be empty. It just makes sense. I'm so happy Mattel is finally realizing this because in past eras, Mattel always used to include 15 McQueens. I'm exaggerating, but like literally four McQueens in one case and then only one of the new releases. But now, as you can see, they're including the new releases in multiple cases consecutively like Noah and Trainer Cruise. They're including multiples of the new cars in the same case. Like here you have Harvey, even though he's not new, he's pretty important. And of course, there was two of Noah, two of Silver Chick. So yeah, very exciting there. I love his artwork, by the way. It looks great, even though he looks more black than gray, which the die cast has here. So yeah, he was only previously released in Amazon exclusive 10 pack, which not as rare as Rare and Clockers 5 pack, but still pretty rare. So here is that Chinese release of him. So you can spot some differences already. I do wish they made him more black though, like the artwork, but maybe it's just the lighting on the movie there. I'm not sure. A really nicely designed next gen though. I love his kind of gray, blue, and white tri combo. He also used to have like a silver trim around his rim there, but it doesn't look like that's there anymore. It's just completely black. Which I don't know how accurate that is to the movie. It looks a little gray there. I don't know. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to see him back. And on the back here, you just see some basic ones. There's no Noah or anything new. So yeah, Conrad's the only one we're waiting on. Which he'll be a welcome re-release as well. Because he was... This is weird. Look at how dirty. Is that supposed to be like that? Look how dirty the bottoms of the cards are there. Look how dirty, that is so weird. That is definitely not supposed to be like that. At least I don't think so, I mean, let's check out somebody else. Yeah, no way. It's supposed to be nice and clean. What happened with my Harveys here? They are so dirty. That's gross. Ooh. Hmm, it's not even coming off on my hand. I couldn't tell you what that is. It's kind of weird. It's like ashes almost. I don't know. I'm a little upset about that, but you can't see it from the front. They're very nice. Anyways, that is all for this case unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, KC, a phenomenal case in my opinion. You have some great re-releases and some awesome new releases as well. Obviously, I'm referring to these silver racers. Kurt with bug teeth is cool as well, but eh. Not as special as the Silver Racers. And it's also great to see these two return. And then who else was pretty cool to see? Jambalaya Chimichanga was the other one that I wanted to show again. So those are your highlights from the case. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you soon for reviews of these guys and Kurt. And yes, Randy Lawson, Shiny Wax Tractor, all that will be coming within the next few days here. Thanks again for all the support recently. I'll see you soon. Bye now.